My prayer for you this morning is that you have a wonderful day. May I take a moment of your time and ask God to give us and bless us with this wonderful day. Thank you. Many years ago, while doing my master's in literature, we had a lecturer who loved to dissect poetry and I didn't. One day, while taking away the joy of a poem by Keats, Ode to a Grecian Urn, I stood up and told him I didn't agree with him. You won't come to anything in life, he said with a sneer while the class laughed. And why do you say that, sir, I asked. Because you don't like what I'm doing. Many times we all do the same. We write off somebody who doesn't follow our way of thinking or do, who doesn't follow the parameters laid down by society. But before you do write off people, read this. If you knew a woman who was pregnant who had eight kids already, three were deaf, two were blind, one mentally handicapped and she had syphilis, would you recommend that she have an abortion? Here question number two before responding to this question. Here's question two. It is time to elect a new world leader and only your vote counts. Here are the facts about the three candidates. Candidate A is associates with crooked politicians and consults with astrologers, had two mistresses, also chain smokes and drinks eight to ten martinis a day. <laughs> Candidate B. He was kicked out of office twice sleeps until noon, used opium in college and drinks a quart of whiskey every evening. Candidate C. He is a decorated war hero, he is a vegetarian, doesn't smoke, drinks an occasional beer and never cheated on his wife. Which of these candidates would be your choice? Let me tell you. Candidate A is Franklin Roosevelt. Candidate B is Winston Churchill. Candidate C. The vegetarian. The one who never cheated on his wife, Adolf Hitler. And by the way, on your answer to the abortion question, if you said yes, you just killed Beethoven. But never ever write off people and more than that, never ever feel you can be written off. Whatever your circumstances, however your past has been, you can be a winner. Remember this poem. Life's battles don't always go to the stronger or faster man, but sooner or later the man who wins is the man who thinks he can. You can be that man or woman. Before I sign off, I'd like you to go to subscribe on your YouTube and press the button so that you'll get my talk every single day. Thank you.